Welcome. I'm so excited to bring you this YouTube page. Basically, over the 40 years of being spiritual, trying to live in the real world, and I was actually in high-powered jobs and everything, and then for the last 10 years, I just decided I need to find out what is happening with my life. There were so many traumas, so many situations, so many blockages, so many resistance... So much that was actually stopping me from evolving. And so I decided to get down the beach, to come down south, so I can be close to my son, and basically I could find answers. And boy, did I find answers. So I want to share with you my spiritual journey of not just learning to be connected, not just learning to be enlightened, but also... To bring to the surface a lot of my insecurities and fears and worries that eventually I took on board and became. So this is going to be quite a an open sort of sharing and some of the information is channeled and what we mean by that is that sometimes I put questions down or sometimes I'm ignited to think of a certain subject. When I first came down here, I used to walk down to the beach. It used to take me 20 minutes to get connected in the fact that I'd let go of all my emotions and all my fears and what I had to do today. And then all of a sudden, ideas, thoughts of my life came to mind or I would ask a question. And by the time the, the end of the journey, I would have the answer and the connection where it came from and why I created it. And so I spent years doing this. So channeling for me, because I'm also a medium and also I spend my life channeling through automatic writing, um, but now because my eyesight in one eye has gone a little bit funny, um, I don't do as much automatic writing, but I still channel. So I use this emoji because I have to worry about whether my eyes close in, whether I can see, whether it's focused right. So that's why I'm using that, because a lot of people have asked me, why I just don't show who I am. Because when I'm channeling, I don't want my brain to kick in. I want to be a pure energy that's connected to the universe, uh, connected to my probably soul as well, that's connected to everything. And then so when I channel, it's a little bit clearer. And not to say that odd times information doesn't pop in by my brain, but if you're so focused on your human experience, it's hard to channel. So you have to get to your state in oneness, that's why I do my meditations and everything. And then basically, I just get the information and share it. So what's this channel going to be about? Well, quotes to help you on your journey. Insights to help you on your journey. A person that actually has experienced it and has become enlightened. And then understood that after all this journey they've been on, that everything is relative to the journey. And so for balance, for, for a way of life, for understanding, everything has a part to play. And when you understand this, then you can understand the vibration that you're putting out. You can understand the essence of what you need to connect to, what you're not to attach to. How to connect to people on a soul-to-soul on a -soul level. Look out for all my insights that I shall be putting up as, as I'm guided more and evolved more to help you guys. Remember, everybody's on their spiritual journey. Everybody is searching. Everybody's being awakened. The veil is now coming down. So more of what we put out is coming straight back at us or we're seeing around us. And that is why there seems to be so much people are focusing on the negative parts because it's triggering a lot of our insecurities and fears. So join me on my spiritual journey as I share with you my ups and my downs, my likes and dislikes, but also giving you insights that will really help you. Now, it's all about planting seeds. So... It may be one video will not resonate with you today, and then three weeks' time, it will do. So look out to what feels right in your heart, to what to listen to, because you'll realise that at the right time, there'll be a message. And especially like my quotes, I've been doing it for 10 years on Facebook, uh, doing quotes that's come through and channeled, and some people laugh at some of my quotes, and some people say, do you know, that really resonated with me today. I really get what you're trying to say there. So it's not for everybody. But what it can do is, I can help you to find life a little bit easier. To find little tricks, little meditations, little ways to keep you flowing, 
to keep you going, keep enjoying, to attract abundance, limitless. It's all possible when we realize that we are attached to everything. We are already connected, sorry. Attachment is a different word, but connected to everything. And when you understand this, it's then the realization that anything that you haven't got, you're resisting and blocking. If it's not going to bring peace, it might be a case that that's why you're not actually got it at the moment. Or there might be a subconscious lesson, or you might need a little bit of healing to let go of those resistance and blocks that we've created through our programming, our subconscious programming. Okay, so that's enough for me today. I hope you join me. Subscribe, and so you can get up-to-date information as I channel for you to help you and myself on the journey because it's a two-way experience so what i put out and that's why some people say to me steve you tell us you know all the secrets and this that and the other and you know especially with mediumship one thing another and i said well it's a gift given to me to pass on why wouldn't i do it i'm not going to hide behind some cloak and dagger that you know that um you know, i've been spent many years doing it i've ig ignited people and i've got people speaking to spirit in 10 minutes thanks to spirit not me so join me and enjoy the journey.